Well, after the jury left, we know that he's been known to say what's on his mind, and he told the judge that basically he feels like she's been asleep at the wheel. He also said that the jury does not have the complete story, but at this point, they have all the story they're going to get. The day was a mixed bag, with each side trying to put an exclamation point on what is expected to be the last day of testimony. As you approached Mr. Lord, were you scared? Absolutely. The state's goal? Explain why some Orlando police officers kicked Mark Keith Lloyd in the face the night of his arrest. Lieutenant Jonathan Chute was one of those officers, told the jury he knew Lloyd was armed, knew he was wearing a bulletproof vest. That just added to my belief that he was not prepared to give up. The officer said Lloyd was not obeying all commands, and in his mind, he also knew Lloyd did not hesitate to shoot Lieutenant Deborah Clayton after she was already down. You kicked Mr. Lloyd hard enough to conceivably kill him, correct? I kicked him as hard as I could, yes. To con and it was hard enough to conceivably kill him, correct? I, I don't know that. I'm not a doctor, but I definitely kicked him as hard as I could. The state attorney who investigated the case said the office spent 19 months and interviewed 132 people to determine if the officers used excessive force. The answer, no. And did you make the decision not to file charges against the officers in this case? I did. The defense ending on a softer note put Lloyd's daughter on the stand so the jury could see a different side of Mark Keith Lloyd. Grandfather. I love you. I you. Okay, bye-bye. There was video of him joking during prison visits. The jury saw pictures of Lloyd holding his baby granddaughter, and so did Mark Keith Lloyd, whose eyes seemed glued to the monitor in front of him. So the jury will hear closing arguments tomorrow, and then they will begin deliberating. Live in Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.